Hey guys, welcome back, it's Anna. So I thought it would be fun if I did a different kind of video. I wanted to get some materials organized into this bow kit. Um, Cause I see it sitting on the side of my desk often and I don't use it very much. And it's a really great organizer for transporting from my craft room upstairs all the way downstairs to where I usually journal because most of the weeks I am, you know, on weekdays, when I get a moment, I am usually journaling when my husband and I are watching TV. Um, there are a few shows that we like to watch together, and it's kind of my only time to do that. So journaling at my desk happens very rarely. So with my um, ring-bound journal that I've talked about so many times now, I, in the first video, I did show you that I had a kind of a plastic pouch that I was using to hold some materials, and it's kind of blown up. I kept adding more things. I was adding tools that I wanted to use, and it kind of became this big thing that was like a jumbled mess. At least to me it is, and I want my materials a little bit more organized so I can easily just kind of grab what I want and journal. And I'm about to show you what I use. I keep it in a small basket and this is what I've been carrying up and down from my craft room to the living room. I've just been throwing stuff in. My pouch is just big now because I've been adding tools and other bits of materials that I wanted to use. There's stamps, you know, there's double-sided tape. It's all in here and I just wanted a little bit more organized, so I thought it would be fun for you to kind of see how I organize my bow kit. So the goal is to get most of these things from here to this kit. I've used this previously for my December daily, which worked out really well. It was nice to kind of have just one little container to have it all. And I'm, I don't think I'm going to be using all the inserts that I had in here, but we'll see how much we fill and go from there. So, I like to keep the double-sided tape. I just have the whole roll with me, my glue stick, and then I have various stamps in this pouch. And these are just the ones that I thought were relevant to my current kind of style. So I have my little Red Riding Hood with the wolf, the house stamp, the heart stamp. I've showed these before. The little duck stamp. This, um, I don't know if you can see, it's just a bunch of like hearts. I love this stamp. It's a rubber acrylic stamp that I got from, hmm, where did I get it? Michaels? I think it was Michaels in my little like dollar section. And, oh, you know what it came with? Um, it came in this set right here. I actually love this set. I've used it so many times. It was, you know, not a, anything special. It was like $2 and I use it all the time. And then this one, I love this one. It's kind of like a starburst with a little heart in it. And this is also one that I saw at Michael's in the little dollar section that came in this set. I love the little clouds. And this one right here. So I've been using that a lot lately. And those are the stamps that I have been keeping with. And in fact, I can dig it out. I carry two inks with me for my journal. I've got this Ranger Letter It Jet Black. This is a an archival ink, so it's really, really dark black. I and mean, dark black. It's black. It's you know, it's a rich black. And then this is my favorite Versa Magic color. It's Oasis Green. It's like a nice sea foamy blue green. And I'm gonna keep those in the pouch so it doesn't dirty up my um, bow kit. So that'll just kind of sit back there. And then I pulled out another pouch because I've got other tools that um, I wanna put in here. Oh, you know what, I forgot. I have my date stamp that I love to use, so I will stick that in here as well. 
And then this is a Studio Calico stamp. It's got the days of the week, but I also love that it's got this just row of hearts that I've been using as well. So that will kind of sit in there. Kind of adds a bit of a chunk at the bottom, but that's okay. And then this separate pouch, I'm probably gonna use for the various sharp tools. So the tools don't snag on this material here. I've got four tools that I'm keeping with me. I've got my scissors, obviously because of the sharp tip, I definitely don't want it snagging, so I will keep that in here. I've got my little heart punch, the mini one, my Heidi Swap stapler, and then my bigger heart punch, which I love. I guess it's a little excessive to carry both, but you know, just going downstairs, so I'm not going very far. And that will kind of sit fairly flat, I guess, down here. And that will kind of sit on top. These are the um, clear stamps that I'm carrying with. I've got this one. I've got the clouds that I showed you earlier. I, I've had this for a while now um, and that I've not used, but I liked that it's got the stars and the hearts too that I can use as background stamps. So I pulled that out to see if I was going to use it. And these I will in fact stick on the side here. And in, I also want to start using more. I use it a lot in my daughter's journal, but I want to use it more in mine. I'm going to pull it out here. Is, if I can find it. Let's see here. Is this set right here? That I got from Mama Elephant a long time ago before I um, had Gemma um, when I was pregnant, I got it. Um, it's just this cute little mama bear, baby bear set, and I've enjoyed using that a lot. So I think what I'll do is stick those hmm, just kind of off to the side here. Okay, not, not super pretty, but you know, that works. I feel like this is gonna end up being pretty full by the time I'm done. I've got my little pouch of little bits that I definitely wanna use. I kinda of compartmentalize where these are like all my favorite bits that I wanted to put in my journal and I kept them in this glassing bag. And I'm gonna keep that off to the side right now, but I also have um, just some wet wipes that I keep for cleaning my stamps off. majority of this pouch right here is just all the little paper bits. So I already have a glue stick in there, so I don't need a second one. I've got my heart washi that I can just kind of stick off to the side here at the bottom, if you can see. Um, a bunch of this kind of sheer ribbon. I love using sheer ribbon for things. Um, I used to always just buy a spool of it and use it to tie up letters that I would receive and bundle them up in this kind of sheer ribbon. So I'll just kind of keep that under here where it's a little bit more contained. It kind of undoes itself. And then the majority of these papers will kind of just go into that pouch or these um, little organizers. And then I do have this tin that's full of all the die cuts that I've pulled out. Pretty much, you know, anything that would fit the color scheme, the paper clips, little tasseled things, um, cut up like dig digital things um, that I've printed out. So that'll kind of sit right here on top. Is this even gonna have enough room? I'm realizing that this might not <laughs> fit everything. Kind of. Maybe I'll just kind of 
keep it simple here. This was one of the original pouches that you could get with um, this bow kit. Um, I know that they came out with a new version of the kit, which looks way, way cool. It's got the two zippers. It's got, it comes in that beautiful dark green color that I love. And okay, so what I'm doing right now is I'm sorting out stickers to papers and going from there. So these are all the different kinds of stickers that I'm pulling out. These are papers. Might end up taking out some of these things, but we'll see. I have a lot of little paper pieces that were cut out from larger ones, and so it's um, trying to keep this organized somehow. Okay, I um, guess we'll set that off to the side. It's kind of like a little sticky pocket journal cards, more paper bits, stickers. Uh, yep, stickers. Okay. More alphas. And then I've got some photos that I wanted to use. I'll set that off to the side as well. Stickers. Okay. So here are a majority of my stickers. I think because I don't really have a lot of room. I'm going to just keep it down to two pouches. This is one of the pouches that comes with the monthly kit. I no longer subscribe, but um, I kept all the pouches because they're such great organizers. So that will, yep, all fits in there. So I've got all my big sheet stickers back there. I think I could fit the larger journal cards. Let's see, there's a card holder on the back of that journal cards and sheets bits here. Hmm. I feel like I kind of need another. That's the back. Maybe I need another one of those. I'm going to take this side zip pouch and put all the major paper bits in there. Will that fit in there? Kind of. Remember that? Remember when you used to have your film developed? And you would get the little thing to hold your pictures that you got. Okay, larger paper bits. Yeah, this will just be a lot easier to grab from and therefore just make my journaling a bit more efficient. And these are all pockets. Okay, so we're getting somewhere. index cards. I think I'll put the index cards in here too. Okay, so we're going to go with three pouches. We've got that. We've got this with all the journal cards. And that will fit in this pocket here. I don't think these will fit in here, will they? Nope. These are just little pockets. Oh, these are perfect. Okay. These are little envelope pockets that will just fit in there. This one doesn't fit in there, so I will put this one in here. Oh, I think it bent something in here. Perfect. Okay. And then I will 
keep this and then this. I might actually even go through the tin and take out some bits. Is that gonna even close? Ooh, barely. Okay, I might have to reevaluate the tools. So I feel like there's a bit of chunk in here. I'm gonna take out the mini heart punch because that's the tallest and everything else lays flat. Perfect, and then that can kind of sit there. No, not really. So I do have to figure out what to do with this tin. And then the rest of the paper bits. I have are just left over from cuttings that I can add to this top pouch if it will fit. That won't fit. Perfect. And then these little strips, I think I'll just kind of put into a little stash um, just to keep at my desk. So that could be something that I'll use for something else. So because it's not going to fit anything else, these I will just set aside for when I need this kit another time. I'm gonna put this clear pocket in here. I've got three pens that I'm using or three writing tools that I've been using in this. The Papermate Inkjoy in point seven, my Sharpie pen, which writes on tissue paper, vellum, and then I'm trying to use up my Microns because I've had them for a long time. This is in point four or five. So that'll just kind of sit at the bottom here. And then I've got some photos that I wanna use that I will just kind of fit in the back but facing out so I know that there's photos in there, like that. And then I'm afraid this tin is a little too much to go through. So, hmm. Actually, it just resituated. Maybe this will work out. Like that. Perfect. So I've just kind of put this back here. I've got my tin at the bottom there. So put the pouches. And then I'm gonna keep this on top because those are all the bits that I do want to use. And okay, barely, barely, barely closing. Oh, you know why? Has this in the back. I did like the feature of the new bow kit where you can actually detach the binder part because I did wish that this had that feature and I like that it has the strap so you can turn it into a purse. A cute little handbag. All right so it closes, doesn't bulge, and it's all packed. So now this is gonna be my little journaling kit for that ring binder. Okay, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video, bye.